Hey guys, it is Natum000 here, and today we're in part number two of the computer craft series. So today we're going to be going over uh, craft, like crafting our space for the different blocks. And oh, shut up! I don't care. And, and anyways, um, so we're going to be going over crafting recipes and also basic functionalities of the blocks. You know what they do, stuff like that. So. Let's start by creating a new world. Name it Computer Craft. And change it to. Actually, yeah. Keep it on survival and change it to super flat. Then go create world. And while you guys were away, or while I wasn't, you know, recording, I installed too many items. So, you know, that'd be useful for this. Uh, just, you know, because. Uh, if you want to know how to do that, just find a tutorial on YouTube. There's plenty out there. Um, I don't, didn't think that was necessary to show you guys how to do that. So, open your inventory. we got too many items on the side. What you need for your computer is... Let's see. You need redstone. Where is it? Redstone. Glass pane. And you need... Is it stone or... Cobblestone. Stone. 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 And then for the disk drive, it's all that. Uh, one sec. Oh, yeah, and then grab a crafting table. Um, and I'll show you how to make the two basic ones. So, uh, crafting table. And then for the computer, just place stone like this, uh, redstone in the middle and a pane on the outside and you'll get a computer with ID 207 and then for your disk drive you want to create that, and then put the redstone and redstone you get a disk drive and then for your floppy drive you need paper and you put this here and redstone and you get a floppy disk so that's the basic items now what you want to do is put the computer down. You know, it's kind of cool. If you turn it on by clicking on it, you get Craft OS 1.2, and now you get a blinking terminal. Yeah. So what you can do is, for anybody who's programmed before, there's when a program will load or a computer will load, it'll start with the basic startup. So in computer craft, you have um, a thing called startup. That's like your main class. So what you want to do is do edit startup like this, and now you'll open up the code for your startup menu. Well, so, startup is the main. Class. Well, yeah, the startup's the name, and it's what it'll run right away. If no, it's not overrided by distro, but we'll cover that in a sec. So, uh, just to test this, you want to write. Um, is it uh, print line? Uh, no, it's, uh, never mind. Just print. print. Oh, yeah, so it's just print. Sorry, I'm thinking Java. I'm learning a lot of Java, so. Anyways, um, you, you want to do print? print? Yeah, I know. I know. Um, <laughs> wait, are there parentheses? Sorry, guys, I'm, uh, learning LUA, which is what this is coded in. Um, so. we don't need the parentheses. I'm not sure if the Well, it, it depends. If you're putting out an integer, which is a type of variable, or a double, which is another type of variable, they're both numbers. Oh, and by the way, I uh, just put a semicolon at the end of there. Uh, that's, that's required. Java. Oh my god. <laughs> Never mind. No semicolon, because that's Java. I'm having, I'm having trouble with this, guys. Sorry. So, print and then hello world. Uh, yep, hello. And ma make sure you spell it wrong, too. <laughs> like that. Spell it wrong and it just because it's great. So. After that, press control, and then notice you can toggle between these. Once you're over save, press enter, and then you want to do uh, control again and exit, and then do like this, and close it. And then when you load the computer, it will print out hello world, spelled wrong, of course, this needs to be. And um, that's a hello world. If you talk to any programmer, they will tell you that the first program you should do in any language is a hello world program. So now we're going to start to get into disk drives. And what you want to do is place the disk drive either here or you can place it. Sorry. 
you can place it um, above it. that or you can place it off to the side but we're gonna start by placing it right there and what you do is right click on it and put in your floppy disk so after you've done that you can go into the computer um, and do edit disk oh wait, you know what you can start by CD which is change directory so you can navigate to the disk by typing CD disk like that. And now since you're in the desk it'll say disk and then it'll have the back triangle thing. I don't know what it's called. And you want to type edit startup. And it will edit your disk startup, not your main computer startup. And it will um we should just print uh this is the disk drive. Like that. And exclamation point. So, then if you save that, notice it will override, one sec, hold down T, control T will terminate and turn off the computer. You gotta hold it down though. So, load your computer, and notice it says this is the disk drive, not hello world, because any disk drive you put in will override with the startup. And if you have multiple disk drives, it'll read from right, I mean left to right. So if you had a disk drive over here and a disk drive over here, this disk drive would say, um, say, like, hello world, and this one would say this is disk 2. It would read hello world on the main computer, not disk 2, because it reads right, left to right, and then the center computer. So, that's basics of that. And that's about all I was going to cover in this tutorial, so, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to cover, um, look at the next tutorials, because we're going to start coding like actual serious code in the next tutorial. So, see you guys. Bye.